There it is. That's the day book of one Mr. William Souls. Uh, this spans from 1861 to 1866. We, of course, know that uh, the Civil War, the war betwixt and between them states. Mr. Souls of Greenwich Village, New York, was a rag merchant. He bought and sold rags to companies throughout the New England and New York. And this thing is filled with bills of lading, with receipts, with letters. Dear sir, this stuff you sent me is junk. He buys a lot of equipment. Uh, there's an interesting letter. We'll get to that one of these days. Ah, look, May 1863. What's going on in the world? We're getting ready uh, to fight the Battle of Gettysburg next month. And Mr. Souls has done 51 70 and 20 cents worth of business and has a balance of $1,234.08. Sounds like he's done a pretty good day. There's some pretty impressive numbers on these. Some of these things, some of this equipment that he's purchased. Steamship bills of lading. A lot of neat things in here. A printing press and saw manufacturer, Warland Company. We go back there two or three times and and have some of our equipment worked on. There's a lot of interesting uh, examples of period calligraphy in here. Uh, again, letters to and from, receipts to and from. George F. Randolph. Mr. Souls. Came over here and spent buck sixty-five at Quackenbush. He's purchased twenty-nine dollars and eighty-three cents worth of the following: Emory. I'm not sure if he's getting, if that's rouge or if it's a type of paper or. This is the one from July 3rd, 1863, as George Pickett is reporting to Robert E. Lee, General Lee, sir, I have no division. These gentlemen are more concerned about the holes that he would like to have stamped into this rack that he's purchased. It was $6.30, but the additional machine work is going to bring the cost to $10. We'll go into these in depth a little bit at a time. The Hartford and New York Steamboat Company. This record isn't complete anymore. I donated some of it. I tried to donate the whole, the whole thing to them, to every historical society in and around Greenwich Village and nobody ever got back to me so I decided to cut it up piecemeal and send some here and there I sent some to the Kansas City Art Institute really interesting uh, full letters really interesting calligraphy sent some to some friends isn't this cool oh we're back to War and Co Here's the Stearns and Ballard Leather Belting. This, these are all parts for his rag cutting hanging machines. The Stony Brook Railroad Company. Lawrence to New York via Norwich. I contact a lot of these companies that are still in business. 
Uh, well, a few that are still in business, and nobody was really interested in this thing. I think it's just... I think it's a brilliant piece of American history myself, but... Everybody needs flour, meal, and feed. We'll do this a little bit at a time. As you can see, it's going to take a while. And this is the coolest binding. Evidently, you bought this book blank with these tape strips and when you received a document whatever you wanted to save to file away you wet this strip and just stick your document on there here's a handsome one steamship company is that cool or what we'll do the more of this as we go william souls man of properties greenwich village new york